Welcome to the MDC micro welding tutorial. We'll first discuss safety concerns, machine anatomy, general use, and then additional resources. Safety notes include, do not wear loose clothing or jewelry. Know the location of the stop button. Wear thermally insulated gloves. Double check the work here before starting the machine. Here's a closer look at the micro welder settings. The power button is located here to the left. The micro welder can be used on a variety of materials such as titanium, non-precious alloys, and precious alloys. They can also be used in combination. The micro welder has five predetermined programs that you can select based on what materials are being used. The program button is on the right. After selecting a program, the set program can be used to change the program. The first program is between two titanium samples. The second is for non-precious alloys. The third program is used for precious alloys. The fourth program is used for precious and non-precious alloy. The fifth option is free selection. The power can be modified within these programs using the set button. One is the low power and ten is high power. After selecting the program, the program button is hit again and the power can be adjusted. After terminating power settings, adjust the stereo microscope and the tungsten electrode. This nozzle on the side can be used to adjust the stereo microscope. This knob can be used to adjust the tungsten electrode. The electrodes can also be changed by unscrewing and sliding in the electrode. It's important to make sure that when the electrode is put in the micro welder, there's a distance of 5 millimeters between the pink ceramic and electrode. It's important to make sure that once the electrode is put into the micro welder, there is approximately five millimeters distance between the pink ceramic and the electrode. After making all the adjustments, you can now begin the micro welding process. Turn on the main argon tank supply and set the flow to between three to five liters per minute. Next, take your two pieces of alloy and attach it to the clamps. And touch the piece of the alloy to the electrode to let the micro welder know that you are ready. Finally, when ready, press the argon gas button for three seconds. It is necessary to distance the electrode and the sample one millimeter apart. After the object is in place, the foot pedal is used to start the soldering process. Depress the foot pedal to begin spot welding, and every time the pedal is depressed, the machine will fire again. Here is an example of two pieces of alloy welded into one using the described process. After welding the two pieces together, make sure to turn off the argon gas tank along with the power switch. And make sure the area is clean. You are now ready to use the micro welder. If you require advanced instructions or have any questions, ask the lab supervisors in the medical device center before proceeding.